Hey everyone and welcome to today's HD tutorial and in this one I'll be showing you how to get and install the Safari 4 beta on your Mac or your PC. So right now I'm going to open up Safari just to show you guys that I currently have the version of Safari you may be using. So go to help, about Safari, and it'll tell you I have version 3.2.2. Now you see I have a lot of favorites right here and a lot of bookmark pages that I actually want to keep if I want to go back to these for further reference. So what I want to do um, is to actually just upgrade my version of Safari. So I'm going to go to www.apple.com, go to the Downloads tab of their website, and down here you will see Safari 4.0 Beta for Mac or PC. It is a 31 megabyte download. If it is not here, just go to their search box and type in Safari, and the first one will be Safari 4. So just go ahead and click on the Safari icon, and it'll come up with the new Safari 4 Beta, so here on this website, we're going to say we're going to click Safari for Windows XP or Vista. Okay, I'm going to uncheck this because I don't want to put in my email. Just hit that Download Now button and make sure your PC meets the minimum requirements. All we're going to do is hit Open, and it'll first start downloading the new version of Safari for Beta. Now it says it's going. To, it's a little bit of a slow download right now, but it's a 25 megabyte initial download, and it'll take approximately 30. Uh, megabytes on your uh, hard disk. Now what I'm going to show you while it's downloading is that it's going to look a lot more strikingly like Google Chrome in that the tabs are on the top here. We're going to have an RSS button, the refresh. We're going to have browsing using cover flow, okay, full, full page previews of your bookmarks and getting to know your top sites. So you know I'm just going to come back to you guys when the Safari 4 beta is done downloading. All right, here I resumed the video, and we see that the cam, cam ah, sorry, the Safari setup.exe has been finished downloading. So we're going to run the file. That's all I did was go downstairs and come back and resume the video. So just hit the run button, and it'll bring us into the installer, which I believe will ask us for the language first. Hold on. And while this is actually starting, I'm just going to exit out of the Safari 3, which is probably going to be necessary for installing Safari, Safari 4 anyway. So let's wait for Safari 3, uh, Safari 4 here. It says Safari is the fastest and most innovative web browser for Mac and PC, and we already saw that there's going to be a ton of changes. So we're going to hit Next. We have to agree to the service and license, license agreement and everything. Hit the Accept button and hit Next. And here I'm going to install a desktop shortcut because I'm going to eventually drag into my Rocket Dock to replace this Safari, and we're going to hit Install. Now, since we did not change the actual location of where it's going to install, it's going to detect by itself, as we follow Apple's instructions here, that it's actually detecting our previous version of Safari in that folder. It's going to remove that, but keep all of our favorites, preferences, our autofill, and all that customizable stuff um, actually still in Safari as we, um, we prepare for installation here. So it says, please, please wait while Safari installs, and this may take several minutes. So I'll come back to you guys when this is finished, um, finished with this particular step. All right, we're come back and we're, we've come back here to the final step and it's moving the old favorites and applications and replacing them with the same exact information but in the newer f uh, file format for Safari 4. So it's finishing the installation of Safari and if we scroll up here you'll see that it's already put an icon on my desktop, a little shortcut um, for me to drag actually into my rocket dock in the first place. So now we see it's validating the install so let's just wait until Safari has finished installing the application and then we'll go into and show you a little bit of the the new things that have actually been incorporated into Safari 4. So just wait one second. Alright, when you've finished installing it says congratulations Safari has been successfully installed and I'm going to uncheck open Safari after it exits and I'm just going to hit the finish button here in that new window. Now in order to do this um, to drag into my rocket dock I'm just going to right click on the dock and unlock items here drag out the old Safari icon and it just disappears take the new Safari icon drag it in to where I want it let go and then I'm going to lock it again now you'll see the old one is still here since this is just a shortcut it'll obviously tell us this is just a shortcut and I'll say yes remove it so now we have the new Safari 4.0 beta and I'm just going to click on it to open it let's see if it's any faster or slower well, that's pretty fast and right off the bat I'm noticing that's a completely new theme here it's using the Windows arrow, of course, I, I made it do that in my old version of Safari. But the first boot of Safari is going to be totally different. First thing I want to point out is that up here there's a little bug button where you can um, report the bugs. And here we have a little introduction saying, Welcome to Safari 4. 
And here are our top sites, just like Google Chrome. It has the top sites we have visited, almost like, and it seems to be loading the top sites that I've already visited, which is pretty cool. So this is um, a lot reminiscent of Google Chrome. First of all, the fact that you can add a new tab just by hitting that plus button. Second of all, the fact that it has all your top sites here, and it's actually pretty accurate. This is my homepage. This is apple.com. It's going to load. And here's all my old favorites, which is very cool. I have my website, uh, the project that I'm doing. It still has all of my bookmarks, and that's a pretty cool new theme, and I think I like that. So now it's finishing, and it says it's going to be a lot like CoverFlow here as Safari 4 incorporates CoverFlow. So I'm just going to hit that button to open a new tab. That's pretty cool. One more tab. So it seems to just um, load this exact page every time it opens a new tab. And there you go, free. That's my head top sites. If I just click on it, it'll like come to the front, and it loads extremely quick, almost as if it's in the cache already. So that's a pretty cool graphic that they've shown us. So second in Safari, um, in the new Safari 4 beta, what you can actually do here is if I hit this button, we can browse in cover flow mode. So if I were to go to google.com, actually that didn't work. I didn't type that correctly. So let's go to google.com. And what I'm going to do is add it as a favorite, and it says, are you sure you want, oh yes I do. So instead of rolling, scrolling in from the top, it actually opens a new window, which is pretty interesting. And then I can obviously choose where I want to save that bookmark, and it'll put it in up here. So I'm going to hit cancel because I already have my bookmarks. And this, it says show top site, so all I have to do is click that, and it automatically brings up this window again. That's pretty cool. If I hit the home button, yes, it keeps my home page. It keeps my Google home page. Change a little bit of the buttons, but that's all right. And if I go to email here, I can obviously, um, not email, if I go to bookmarks, I can scroll my bookmarks in cover flow. That's a big change in Safari 4, that, that cover flow um, integration into Windows as well as PCs. So that's very cool that you can do that in Safari 4. Just click it again to get out of bookmarks and we're back. And that's basically it, guys. All the options remain the same. You still have a lot of that, um, that reminiscent of, um, what do you call it, Google Chrome that you can you have all your options over here instead of on the left. You don't actually have a file uh, new thing because if I want to go to new tab, all I have to do is hit that new tab button. So you also have the options. You have show menu bar or hide it, show or hide bookmarks bar, status bar. And also you may have noticed when I was loading the page, if I were to load um, a larger page here, and that's cool that it has a top site and bookmarks. So youtube.com You'll see it doesn't load. It has a little swirly thingy here instead of actually loading up here. So I'm going to get back to you guys on more add-ons and bookmarks. Let's see if I hit sign in if it remembers. Yes, it does remember, so it still has all the autofill. So yeah, I'm going to get back to you guys on uh, more plugins and add-ons for Safari and more uh, little bugs that I can report to you guys. But that's basically it. So thanks for watching this video, and I hope that you found it helpful. And good luck with installing Safari 4 on your brand new computer or just <laughs> on your computer. So thanks for watching this video. If you have any other tutorial ideas or requests, just go ahead and subscribe and send me a message, and I'll get back to you in a response. Thanks for watching. Peace.